So to get started, head over to your toolbar and click on the rectangle tool. Now click and highlight a rectangle shape on your preview window to the approximate shape of the iPhone shape bubble. Now go over to the essential graphics tab and scroll down to fill and select your color in fill. Now at this bottom portion over here, change the value to 1982 FC, which is the approximate shade of blue of the iMessage chat window and hit OK. Now go over to the corner radius over here and increase the value until the corner starts to round up a bit. And if I deselect it, you can see what we have created so far. Now we need to create a little lip at the corner of the chart window. So come over here and select your pen tool and create a three point triangle here at the corner of your bubble. And the next thing you want to do is to select these two graphics layer, right click and select next to next them. Now you can adjust the scale and you can move the position and they are going to move together. The next thing you may want to do is to reduce the opacity down to 70 to create a see-through effect on your video layer. Now to create a second text bubble, what you are going to do is to select this nested clip, hit on Alt and drag it one step higher. Now select the duplicated nested bubble and move over to effects and search for the horizontal flip effect and apply this horizontal flip effect onto your second bubble here and to change the color you can use the tint or the change the color effect but I'm going to use the tint effect and apply it onto this top layer over here inside my first control panel I'm going to select map white to and select the color I want to change it to for me it is harsh and hit ok and adjust the position to the position where I want it to be and that's it guys on how to create the iPhone text message bubble in Premiere Pro thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video tomorrow